and today we are going to discuss a very very important topic of risk management friends this is such an important topic which will decide for a person to be a successful person in a consistent fashion or person loses money heavily in this business friends let us always understand that trading into stock market or rather financial market is a very risky proposition where risk is there and at the same time potential for reward is very very high and hence risk management is one of the very important aspects of being success in the financial market for generating consistent profit and probably the most neglected among the majority of the traders not only in india but worldwide so friends before we start to learn all about risk management through position sizing let us start with certain very important quotes which will set the pace for today's program because these quotes are coming from very experienced people who have been successful across uh, uh, across the world and they have they are known to be an expert in their own professions so friends first i start with success is no accident that means success is designed in a fashion where it results into a success it is a hard work perseverance learning studying sacrifice and most of all love of what you are doing so friends if trading or investment is not the profession that you love the probability of success would be very very poor this quote is coming from pele we all know as a legendary player in the world and then friends another quote comes from none other than warren buffet risk comes from not knowing what you are doing this simple quote explains everything we must know what we are doing and that we can know only when we know the technical analysis or to know how to analyze the market so that we can design the strategy for trading or investing and then be able to manage the risk in financial market and friend another quote is very very important is successful investment is managing risk not avoiding them simple to put forth is risk that is not a thing that you can avoid it will be there in the market how you effectively manage it is all about from being a success or from not being a success so friends let us today learn all those element and i assure you the moment you incorporate the risk management aspect as your strategy towards investing or trading your success is almost guaranteed in a consistent fashion in some of the positions you will lose money in some of the positions you will make money but ultimately you will be emerging as a winner let us start with what is risk management means a management in which you made a, make an strategy to manage the risk rather than to avoid the risk and in in order to understand in a simple fashion is to work in the positive expectancy when i initiate a trade or buy something in financial market with an aim to make money then we should be very clear in our mind what is the risk involved and whether my probability of making money is much more than the risk i am taking it is something like friends if i set up a business and in which i have infused a capital of say 1 cr and if i don't see to make money 3 cr 4 3 cr or 5 cr and the risk involved in that is more than 1 cr then probably i am not doing a business it is not a business that means i have not done the research work properly before starting this business so in order to understand let us understand that in losing trade because there will be a situation no person in the world 
how smart he is, how knowledgeable he is, how skillful he is. He cannot be successful in all the trades and all the investment he makes in his life. So there will be instances of losing trades, there will be instances of profitable trades. So when he loses in a trade, one should not lose more than the fixed percentage of a trading capital of an individual. In winning trades, whenever our trades hits the target or achieves the goal, one should earn more than the decided risk per trade. If I am taking a risk of 10,000 rupees in a trade, I should have my expectation to make more than 10,000 rupees in that particular trade. And that all aspect has to be seen while doing technical analysis on price chart, seeing various aspects, combining all the studies, what we have learned and learning under zero to hero. If your potential to make profit is should be not less than 2R or more. Means if I am taking a risk of 100 bucks, I should have the this particular trade or my decision so have potential to make 200 bucks or more. So friends, in order to effectively manage the risk, the first important thing is that you should have the proper knowledge of technical analysis so that you can arrive at the precise entry point what is the stop loss and friends what is the expected target it can achieve either through chart pattern or a price pattern or maybe through price action you can calculate what are the possible targets so let us understand through an example as to how we understand the value of r so friends this is the vertical line I have drawn. So consider that I have done a technical analysis and where my entry price is here and my stop loss is calculating to be here. So friends, target is calculating at this area. So these are the three basic inputs that we have from the technical analysis that we have already done on a particular share or commodity or currency pair which means friend this is the risk i am taking the entry price minus stop loss if it is a long trade this is the risk i am carrying per share and friend this is the possible reward expected reward now these two elements will give us what should be the risk reward ratio so for example our entry price is 1000 that we have arrived specifically after doing the technical analysis and my stop loss calculates at 900 and my target is coming at 1300 what does it mean which means i am taking a risk of 100 per share in this particular example for which i am expecting to get a reward of 300 bucks so, friends, what is the risk reward ratio? I am taking a risk of 100 rupees to make a profit of 300 rupees. So, risk reward ratio is 1 is to 3. Sounds a good business. It's very, very important to understand that risk reward ratio and winning rate. Now, the question is, we know as to how risk reward ratio is calculated. And I have already explained you, we should not take up the trade in which risk reward ratio is less than 1 is to 2. Means minimum positive expectancy should be 2R and above, which indicates the risk reward ratio. 1 is to 1, 1 is to 2, 1 is to 3, 1 is to 4, 1 is to 5. And this column indicates what is the winning rate of an individual trader. Say if the trader takes 100 trades, everybody will not have the same winning rate. What is in their control is risk reward ratio. Winning rate is guided by the knowledge of technical analysis, his own temperament. It is just like a game of cricket.
If you calculate the winning rate of Sachin Tendulkar, Virat Kohli, Mahinder Singh Dhoni, all were greatest cricketers India has ever produced. But winning rates are different. So you must know your winning rate. Now this two data of winning rate versus risk reward ratio if your winning rate is 20% and if you are operating at a risk reward ratio is 1 is to 1 which means you will incur in 20% winning rate loss, 30% loss, 40% loss and break even will only come when you win 50% of the trades you undertake. If you take 100 trades, minimum 50 trades should end up in making profits in 1 is to 1 risk reward ratio and you actually start making profit when your winning rate is 60% and above. So it is a pretty bad risk reward ratio to operate with. Number 2 is 1 is to 2 because 20% winning rate loss, 30% winning rate loss and 40% winning rate onwards you start making money. So, if you develop the skill and knowledge of technical analysis, price action analysis, various elements, elements of technical analysis which we are teaching under zero to hero step by step to develop you as a good technical analyst, then achieving the goal of 40% winning rate is very much possible for an average trader. So, in 40% you make profit and obviously in 50% and 60% winning rate, you will make more profits. In 1 is to 3 risk reward ratio, at 20% winning rate you make loss and from 30% winning rate onwards you start making profit. And that is why an investor should, should set a goal for uh, uh, 1 is to 3 plus operation rate, positional trader 1 is to 3 plus operational rate and if you are a swing trader, minimum expected expectancy should be 1 is to 2 risk reward ratio for managing your trading business as profitable business. In 1 is to 4, break even in 20% and 30% on this profit. 1 is to 5 risk reward ratio, profit right from the 20% winning rate. So friends, it is very important to understand that there is a direct link for a trader to be successful is the two variable factors. What is the risk reward ratio at which he is operating and second is friend, what is his individual winning rate which will vary from trader to trader, investor to investor. So friends, it's very very important as to how you can arrive at the winning rate of as an individual trader. You should maintain a trade journal or trade book where each and every trade you do a technical analysis, you make an entry. What prompted you to buy this? The reason for buying this particular stock or initiating a trade. Are you entering on a breakout trading strategy or bounce back trading strategy or counter trend trading strategy or a swing trading aspect and what is your trading strategy? Then you should enter the precise entry point, precise stop loss and then what is the expected target? What is the risk reward ratio you have arrived at before initiating a trade? And when you are exiting the trade, either at loss or at profit, you should record the reason. Reason could be a stop loss has triggered. Number two could be trailing stop loss has triggered if you have chosen to ride the trend and trail the stop loss. There are only these two reasons. If any third reason is there to exit the trade, which means there is a problem of temperament of a trader. And either the third reason is you have won the trade, you have attained the target. So you have achieved the target, so you have booked partial profit or full profit. So record that reason why you have exited the trade and as to how we can manage the risk through position sizing. So you have to always size your position well. 
once you have done the technical analysis you must know how much quantity you should buy in that particular stock so that you don't lose money beyond the risk you have designated for that particular trade it's very very significant to understand because we can only do through position sizing over trading is one of the biggest causes of failure of majority of the people in the world in this profession and under trading results into what if that particular trade we have taken a less quantity and that trade term, uh, be, uh, becomes a winning trade for you then you earn less money so adequate sizing of the trade is very very significant is important the quantity so let us understand how the position sizing is done say for example your trading capital is 10 lakhs rupees this is an example everybody will have a different trading capital so the concept of calculating the quantity will not change risk per trade that is i have designated as rpt is 1% of your trading capital so it is at 10000 rupees so you cannot lose more than 10000 rupees if you follow this method in a particular trade entry minus stop loss would be the value of r that is risk per share you are taking and entry and stop loss has been arrived by the technical analysis risk per share in this example the example which we have seen is 100 and now quantity to be traded or invested would be arrived as how rpt divided by r rpt is what risk per trade that is 10000 rupees is the risk that is 1% of your trading capital is a rpt divided by the risk risk you are taking per share that is entry price minus a stop loss is giving you the risk per share this will give you 10000 rupees divided by 100 so in this example you should buy 100 shares so friends now let us see the possibility of a trader with a winning rate of 50% which is very reasonable that he takes 100 trades he loses money in 50 trades because of stop loss has triggered and makes profit in another 50 trades because he has attained the target so and he is operating at a risk reward ratio of 1 is to 3 so now let us understand for example risk reward ratio 1 is to 3 means if his trading capital is 10 lakhs rupees he is taking a risk of 10000 rupees in each trade and risk reward ratio is 1 is to 3 means his likely profit when the target is hit is 30000 rupees which means what say if he has undertaken 100 trades with right right, right position sizing to manage the risk and 50 trades are winning trades and rest 50 takes are losing trades so which means in 50 trades he'll make at the rate of 30000 rupees profit which means he makes a profit of 15 lakhs rupees he makes a profit of 15 lakhs rupees 50 into 30000 is a profit and the losing trade results into loss of 50 into 10000 because he is working in a positive expectancy whenever loss happens loss happens must then the profit so he has lost in 50 trades at the rate of 10000 rupees the total loss is 5 lakhs rupees so what is his uh, net profit 15 lakhs minus 5 lakhs is the 10 lakhs rupees as profit so friends if you have liked the presentation give a thumbs up to us it motivates me friends share this video among your friend circle social base whatsapp group so that other people also receive benefit out of these kind of tutorial series under zero to hero
and friends watch all the videos at least three times to conceptually develop various aspects of technical analysis and trading business to install a very successful trading business at your end and friends subscribe the channel enable the notification bell so that you don't miss out any video on this channel thank you very much for watching thanks a lot looking forward to meet you again soon